It's October 2012. War of the Roses just came out and you're having great fun hacking and slashing away. You spent the last two years trying to get to grips with Mountain Blade Warband, so this isn't too much of a step up, and you're getting good hang of things. But little did you know, two weeks later, a game would release that would change the medieval first person genre forever. And then, chivalry graced our screens, bringing something new, different, fluid yet weighted combat. Blood, death, large scale medieval warfare. It was only a matter of time before there was a sequel. Hey, resident! I want to play PC games, but my mom got me a potato for Christmas. I love her and all, but what should I do? You need to use your drone to locate a bomb. Proceed to bomb location and defuse it. Well, my young sir, have I got news for you. Boosteroid, who are currently sponsoring this video, are a massive cloud-based gaming platform. It doesn't matter what computer you're on, if it's a potato or an orange, connect to their servers and their PCs over the internet, and you can play insane amounts of computer games at the click of a button. As long as you have a stable connection, it doesn't even have to be all that fast. You can still play as if you're on a god tier gaming computer. Red Dead 2, Siege, Battlefield, Overwatch, Armor, Kingdom Come, the list goes on and on. Starting at an incredible price of just over 4 euros a month, you can play on any device. A potato, laptop, an old PC, a phone, a tablet, pick your poison and get onto Boosteroid today. Phone has found a bomb. Five seconds to go. And after eight years, we are finally getting it. I have briefly touched upon Chivalry 2's first trailers, and I mean, they came out just after the release of fellow medieval first person epic, Maud Howe, so it seems a little bit contrived, if I'm going to be honest. And back then, I didn't really have all that much nice things to say about it. But time has passed, more info has been released, and more trailers, in all transparency, are starting to look quite good. And I'm a little bit excited. The Agatha Knights and the Mason Order return to fight once again for the throne, taking the Bloodfield battlefield to prove that they are worthy successors. Knights against knights, archers against archers, crossbows against peasants. It looks like Chivalry are really sticking with their lore and the world that was built up throughout the first game. A true sequel, rather than just another game with a similar style. The reason I'm actually making this video is the recent news that Chivalry 2 will be coming to PlayStation 4, PS5, Xbox One, Series X, and PC. And here's the kicker, all with crossplay between the platforms. For a consumer point of view, that's great. More people to play with and to rip the heads off in the rage of battle. But if we're gonna be honest with ourselves, crossplay is a great idea on paper. But now we've seen it with games such as Warzone, console players eventually just get fed up of being dominated over and over again by PC players. Currently, the game supports up to 64 players in the alpha testing mode, I might add, which is going on at the moment and actually been going on since March. So if you haven't signed up for that, you can sign up on the website. I think I haven't done it yet, but there's something you can do. But because it's in alpha, you can probably expect the 64 players maybe to rise in the future. And judging by the trailers, they really look like they're going for that larger scale, which was always something that I missed from Mordhau. I mean, it was big, don't get me wrong. You had the camp map where you could see trebuchets firing from above and charging down on all sides, and yes, it was big, but it wasn't big, if you know what I mean. Now that is beginning to change with the additions of map extensions in Mordhau and siege type maps in the game, but it looks like this may be Chivalry 2's main selling point. And that brings me on to the comparison I'm sure will be made thousands of times. What's better, Chivalry 2 or Mordhau? Of course, Mordhau was made by people that were fans of the original Chivalry game, and in my opinion, they knocked it out of the park, making a game that, pretty much all aspects, is superior to the original. The animations, the combat mechanics, the events, the maps, and while Chivalry 2 will of course improve upon its original outing, everything I've seen from the gameplay and trailers has one fatal flaw. It's goddamn ugly. The lighting, the textures, the blood, the animations, they're all just a bit off. They're not terrible, but there's something about them that all comes together to make what, for me at least, is a very ugly looking experience. Now, I'm not sure if that's an attempt to keep the famous chivalry look, which is a bit grungy and gritty over the more shiny and pristine Mordhau, or it's just they haven't really been able to improve all that much upon the aesthetics of the game since the original. 
but I really don't like how it looks. Torn Banner, the developers, have said that the animations are subject to change, but currently they are so wooden compared to the buttery smooth animations and combat mechanics that Mordhau brings to the plate. But as I mentioned, one thing I will give to Shivery 2 is its scale. I really hope they bring back the massive sieges with multiple stages, taking the outer town to pushing the ram up to the gates whilst hot water, arrows and rocks are being flung down by the defending enemies, making your way into the castle and fighting through many many corridors on all sides, people hiding, people setting up traps, and then pushing into the keep and eventually the throne room. Now that is a way to make a multiplayer game and it was incredible, Shivery 1 had all this and I think perhaps is the reason it was so popular aside from all the YouTubers playing it. If Torn Banner can bring that into the new game on release, I think they might have a chance at toppling the current king, which without a doubt is Mordhau. Of course, we haven't been able to get our hands on the game at this moment, so nothing can be said with a, a guarantee, but from the trailers, info and gameplay, do we think this is something that could happen? Does Shivery 2 look like it's a worthy contender at the moment? To not only improve upon the original, but bring to the table something Mordhau couldn't offer. Torn Banner only had themselves to fight with before, they only had to improve upon their original, but the introduction of more games into this almost sub-genre brings competition. And it's good competition, something for both developers to strive towards, making the best game possible, to give something unique. Shivery 2 either has to be way more polished, fluid and expansive than any other medieval first person fighters to date, or it has to go in a separate direction, it has to split off from the pack, give a perspective and a way of playing that we haven't seen in both Shivery 1 or Mordhau. Because if it doesn't do that, and if it just tries to improve upon its first game, I fear that it will be overshadowed by the beautifully polished Mordhau. And finally, there is the point about Epic Games. As I mentioned in my last video on Chivalry 2, it is coming exclusively to Epic Games for at least the first year. This may put a couple of people off buying the game, but then again, they've got crossplay, so that's not going to affect the numbers too much. This could also mean that when it eventually comes to Steam, if it ever does, there'll probably still be crossplay from 